it's finally here. The White Whale. It's been mentioned once in the beginning of this arc when Rem was talking about how we cannot get to the mansion with the main road because the fog is blocking it. And nobody, nobody messes with the White Whale. It is just on another level of threat. That's what it seems like. Now, what's going on? We were with Otto, and because in this run, we're heading to the mansion earlier compared to before, so there was no fog set. However, the white whale is there right on time. And it seemed to have eaten up some of the carriages. And I'm like, okay. And then we turn to Otto and go, Otto, where the homies on the right go? And he's like, huh? It's just you and me right now. And I'm like, huh? Am I getting gaslit? Is Otto crazy? Is this an illusion? Genjutsu? Is Oto the white whale's tamer? I don't fucking know. But just when I thought that like when the difficulty level was high enough, thanks to Betteregus and the witch's cult, now we have to overcome the goddamn whale if we want to get to the mansion on time. Things are looking way harder. How are we going to overcome this? I don't know. We got to get killed by the whale, I think, to reset this run, though. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Rem. <laughs> Windbreak protection. Oh yeah, I, this is mentioned in the beginning of Arc 3 when we're on the carriage entering the city and Subaru goes out to go up like this and someone in chat said, boom, uh, windbreak protection and that's why Subaru's arm went poof, and he basically, you know, it's that, it's that again. Yeah, it's flying. The white whale. <laughs> The, this actually, I think, is the amount of time Subaru dies in this season or some shit. I don't know, but like this intro scene with the crows, man, so good. Okay, the boss theme is already playing. Here we go. Use your cell phone, Subaru. They're done. They died. The whale probably ate them. Yo, Rem's doing a lot of damage to the whale, or it looks like it's getting really annoying. <laughs> yes, at the cost of your oils, I think. Why is it targeting us? Because it's probably a witch fiend, and Subaru is stinky as fuck. The witch fiends and Rem and... Biko and presumably Puck and presumably Roswell and most definitely be, uh, Betterugus can smell the miasma, right? It's gotta be that. <laughs> Subaru! I don't know, is there a way out? I think we just die here and reset. Huh? No, Rem. Rem is too good, man. Another sacrifice from Ram. Alright, take care of Subaru. Okay, money is less important than his life. Good to see. Ram, no! Ram, sneak a kiss in before you leave. Remember, what is Subaru to Ram? What happened when the cultists were kidnapping Subaru? How dare you steal my reason to die? <sighs> Alright, Rem, I'll see you on the next run. Oh. Knocked out? The cliche neck shot? Pass out? Alright, Rem versus White Wild, I guess. Bye bye. But we did survive. It seems like it did work though, right? We got the money, Otto's still driving. I'm gonna assume Rem is just dead. Oh. 
she jumped out. <laughs> what? If you do that, I think you waste Rem's effort as well. I know that you want to go save Rem, but if you think about this rationally, which he can't because he's too angry and upset right now, it would be the worst thing. <laughs> Like you you expect Oto to fight? No, we're hoping to go back and pick up Rem if we can, but I think that she's just gone now, bro. What? I saw the monster up close, that's why I'm telling you to go back. I don't understand that part. You saw the whale eye, so you think you can beat it? Probably, yeah. He's not thinking logically. That's what I'm saying. The small hope, right? Yubi is just squandering Rem's sacrifice right now. I understand he's clinging on to the hope that she might be alive and we can go save her, but like, that's not the right idea right now. Gaslight. The gaslight, bro. She did this for you. Oto didn't abandon- Oh, poor Oto being gaslit by Subaru right now, bro. Holy shit. I understand that Subaru is upset and angry, and that's why it's coming out. Honestly, doesn't this feel like projection that he, Subaru in this context, is the one that abandoned Rem due to his lack of ability and skill? It feels like he's really guilty, and it's just coming out at Oto. That monster killed a former sword set. Lower, lower. I'm gonna assume the last. Well, is it correct to assume the last sword saint is Van Austria again? Because Reinhardt is the current sword saint, but maybe it does tie in with it. That monster killed a for Dude, this is. We don't even have Reinhardt. How the fuck are we supposed to beat this whale, dude? <laughs> The sword saint like Reinhardt, bro. What? Well, we don't know if the former saint, sword saint is as broken as Reinhardt because it, it is a title that's handed down probably, but like, that is insane. They had a they had an actual force, like an army, with like a sword saint to defeat the white whale, and they just... Nah. Damn. Oto's right. Oto is objectively correct. I know how you feel, Subaru, but no. You know what? I still prefer Subaru saying this shit rather than him acting like Rem's sacrifice was cheap. Right? Because, like, he actually does care. Because, like, if he treated this as, like, a regression just easy where it's like, all right, she's dead, fuck it, let's keep going. I would feel kind of shitty about that. But at least like this, even though it's stupid, it really shows you how much he cares. <laughs> what? Hmm. Don't treat this like a game. Watch what you say. You sh as long as we're in this mist, there's no telling when it'll show up again. For now, we were fortunate to escape it. Interesting how he just fucking just tells him. I think like, everything he says, I feel like applies to Subaru as well. There's some irony here. The meme. The meme, the meme, the meme, the meme. Who's Rem? Who's Rem? Everyone forget Rem. Who's Rem? What happened to the other merchants beside us when the whale presumably ate it? Otto said, what do you mean? Rem is presumably eaten by the whale or killed. Otto goes, was Rem, even though we were literally talking about Rem. So up until now, Rem was alive, surviving against the whale, and at this point, Rem is dead. And Oto for but Subaru doesn't forget. Oto forgets, but Su clearly there is memory manipulation, some sort of illusion, some sort of like mind fuckery going on. But it only applies to Oto right now and not Subaru? Oh no. You guys are also gaslighting me in chat. <laughs> All of you have forgotten Rem too. What the fuck is going on? That was 
long it warranted, but that was funny as fuck because he realizes how this was like it's all crazy, dude. It's, it makes nothing make sense to Super right now. Like you just we were just talking about Rem. How could you just forget? Honestly, yeah, I'd be pissed off too. Straight up, like this would be such a mind fucking moment. Like we were literally just talking about her five seconds ago. Are you trolling me? <laughs> Also, another thing to mention, if we're going with the theory that, like, what happened? The merchants are killed by the whale. Rem is killed by the whale. Oto forgets both merchants and Rem, but Oto did not forget the sword saint. If we apply the same logic of if whale kills, Oto forgets, why would Oto remember sword saint? Because a different way of killing? Maybe there's a divine protection or a blessing involved? Everything is fucked right now. I don't even blame Subaru right now. I genuinely don't even blame Subaru for his actions right now. What Oto is doing is mind-boggling, and I would feel just as confused and upset. Like five seconds apart. Like, I should be asking you, Oto. Are you gaslighting us? Are we crazy? Is he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> because of Subaru, because Subaru is a little fucking magnet to the witch fiends, if the whale is a witch fiend. <laughs> the fuck? The light. You get rid of the light. Exactly, even in the darkness, even if the light is not the thing that's, you know, attracting the... It's gotta be the witch's my ass. <laughs> Yeah, you. Yes! Because which thing react? You know what Subaru should do right now? Just for, just for a joke? Honestly, I would. At this point, I'd be like, this is a ruined run. Everything is fucked. Let's just try it. I can return by death, spike it, just to see if the whale would just get even more mad. You know? Fuck it. Why not? Hey, we're, we're already fucked, you know? Let's just have some fun at the end. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> but it makes sense. Because he just said, I have the reason. And Oto's like, Yeah, fuck this guy. Why am I doing this? Yeah, if I wanted to survive, I push Subaru. I don't think Oto's in the wrong here. I feel bad for Oto. He got punched by Subaru, who's gaslighting him about fucking Rem. Who's Rem, bro? This is based Oto. <laughs> True. True, though. At least he's honest about it. Die. Die so that I can live. I appreciate the honesty. I like Otto. I hope we see him in the next run, too. But this is absolutely bizarre and hilarious that he actually pushed them off. This is like comical. And he's still alive. Probably Bone Bro. Hello, Mr. Whale. That probably hurts so much. He got thrown off of a dragon carriage that was running at top speed. What's the top speed of a land dragon? Does anyone know? Does anyone have like a miles per hour, kilometers per hour? Like how fast we're fucking going? I don't know, but like his bones are probably all shattered. 60 miles per hour? We'll just take that. Fuck it. Let's just cap. And then the whale blows him away with his broken bones, tattering on the ground. That probably hurts so much. <laughs> if only we could just get our neck snapped nicely when we fell off the carriage. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> desperation. And again, remember, this whole regression power is not as OP as you think because no one wants to fucking die. It is painful. It is haunting. It is a nightmare. And on top of that, if we give people from a different run about details of future steps, they get suspicious because, like, who the fuck would believe us? Regression power is actually such... It's so balanced right now. The way that Tepe has written Subaru with the regression power, it is so balanced to the point where I feel like it's, it's unfair. Like, he just, he's fucked. What does he do? We die and then... We gotta get strong enemies. Strong allies. 
We need to get strong allies. If we... I mean, if the whale killed the last sword saint... Oh, we can't really ask Reinhardt either, because he's still away on a, like, a courtesy call with Lolly fucking Felt right now. I don't know. I don't know. We need friends, though, to overcome this whale. What was that? The fuck was that? So he got... He was running away. Fell. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Light shows up. Sound effects happen. Huh? Huh? And there's no one here. Is that the whale just leaving? Did the whale literally just leave? That was literally whale leaving. He said, Huh, you're pathetic. Bye. And the fog is gone. Maybe the sound was the whale leaving. But there was a light there. But it was the moon? Whatever. Huh, indeed. We can't even die, we just gotta limp back home now? <sighs> Land dragon? Oh my. It's the same green dragon? Yo, wait! There's cult daggers on this shit too! There's cult daggers! Yo, is this the same green dragon that we've been seeing in every fucking run with the carriages? I swear to god, we've seen the same dragon in every run. Is this Oto's dragon? Oto's carriage. So this is Oto's carriage, and the daggers, this is the cult daggers, right? Look at this shit. So Oto died from cult members along the way. So, Oto. He dead. So <laughs> Those daggers are quite stylish, though. Just to let motherfuckers know, like, the cult was here. Eko. All right. Where are you going? We got bailed out by Land Dragon, though. Thank you. It's the mansion. Yeah, we gotta still see what happened there, right? Like, but it's gonna be too late. Everything's gonna be fucked up already. I take back what I said back. I don't think this is the same dragon before, because the one that I was thinking about in the Betrigus run was green. <laughs> Eyes are not gouged out! Kids are alive! Because in this run, obviously, remember, in this run, the timeline is he left much earlier. That's why the fog of the white whale wasn't even set until we were already on the road. We made it through there and we are really early on this day. And today is the day where the mansion will get fucked up. Right? Right? Wow, Subaru, you're bleeding all over the place with so much bruises and damage. Hee <laughs> hee, here's some jokes. You stink. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> Subaru, you look like you're about to die. <laughs> what happened to you? Yeah, we have like intel this time though, right? We made it to the mansion. What the fuck? Yo, this is progress. We straight up just brute forced against the white whale and we made it? Okay, but like, now what though? Like, like now, we did make progress in terms of actually getting to the mansion without people being, you know, just fucking massacred, but, but now what? And if the checkpoint is made, Rem is dead forever. Just, just, just remember that, so like... Not Rem. It's Ram, right? It's Ram. It's the superior twin. <laughs> Barusu. So, peak Ram. Peak Ram immediately, bro. Doesn't hold back. Mm. Biko and then probably healed, yeah? Emilia might be helping, I'm not sure. Biko, Emilia, Ram? Ram? <gasps> Emilia did. It's bad, Ram. We fucked up hard. Yeah. But it's true. It is harsh. But it's true. We said, you have a debt that you could never possibly pay back. You should be happy to me. It's because of me, everything always worked out. Ugh, bro, that episode just... That was a hard watch. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Just a little bit of dose of reality with someone like Ram that's not afraid to call it how it is. Sometimes just coddling and being nice isn't enough. Sometimes you should just be like, Come on, motherfucker, wake up! 
レムが死んだ。I swear to fucking God. オトディンレムレム。レムが死んだ。俺が何にも苦言が出たんだ。That's right, why will appear? それでレムが俺を逃がそうとして、でも残されて。それで。バルス、レムって誰の Okay, Ram doesn't remember either. I'm gonna assume nobody remembers right now. Nobody remembers Ram in this timeline other than Subaru. But why does Subaru remember? Everything has to do with the White Whale. But remember how the Sword Saint also was remembered by Otto. That's the weirdest shit. There's something in common with the way that the other merchants and Ram died. That wasn't common with the Sword Saint, and we still don't know exactly how the Sword Saint died. Or, I don't know, because like the White Whale could use some sort of magic of like,、uh, I use magic to remove your memories from other people's heads, except Subaru. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why Subaru? Because he has the witch's miasma. But then, could you then ask Better Goose, hey, Better Goose, Rani Conti, this? Do you remember Rem? Would he say yes? Well, not in this run, because he hasn't met. I just, everyone forgot. Subaru remembers. Why does Subaru remember but nobody else? That I'm not sure of, other than some sort of witch scent bullshit. Yeah, we should redo this run. This is fucked. This is a fucked run. We need to get out. We need to get out. That's crazy. That's the craziest thing. Once, like, the whale does this magic shit to, like, disappear people. People don't even remember them ever existing. The script literally just erases that name. Like, what? Yeah, who did that? Yeah, exactly. Like, who did it, right? So the script is gonna change and Rem will never have been there for it. Roswald clutched and with Ram. Oh man, what the fuck is going on, dude? But it's fine. Because all we have to do is just reset the run. But here's the thing either the checkpoint has been made, or even if we reset, like, remember what I said about Amelia shit? If we could simply reset the run and erase what happened to Amelia, it would be cheap. Rem, right now, this development, they're trying to make it sound very important. So, like, there's still the off chance that even if we reset, But why? Because Rem will be alive there. No, it should be fine if we just reset. Just kill yourself, bro. I'm being gaslit. Rem doesn't have a room, bro. Rem never existed. Everything that has to do with Rem is just erased in this world. I'm being gaslit. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Go talk to Amelia. Go talk to Roswell. Anybody? Biko. Let's ask Biko. Fuck it. Let's ask Biko. Biko always helps. Kashira? Kashira or Amelia? Oh, it's Amelia time. Oh, shit. It's been a while, man. It's been a while since that episode. I'm so sorry, baby girl. I never meant it. I have a debt I can't pay you. Please take me back. Subaru. Because I want to save you, but how do I explain that? What? This is not the right method. Oh, fuck, dude. You're scaring her, man. You're actually scaring her, bro. The promise with the gate to save you, but you don't understand. She's right. Because this is a side of Subaru she's never seen before, and he's like so down on his luck. Honestly, right now, right? 
If we did steal her away and the entire mansion, the kids were killed in two days, then we could be like, see, I told you I was right. But what does that accomplish? Nothing. At the end of the day, everyone's still going to fucking die. And Rem is still dead. Nothing works. Nothing. Ugh, just... This is a ruined run and he's scrapping for leftovers. I get it. But fuck, man. What do we do? What do we do? That shut up and listen to me, man. This part, bro. Dude, stop. He has not changed that all, man. But he's right. That's the thing. He's not wrong, but it just sounds so fucking bad when it comes out like this. And again, dude, the voice acting from Subaru with the absolute desperation to cry for help. It's so good. With the soft piano soundtrack, the realization that there's nothing he can fucking do about this. And even if he tells her all this shit, it still won't change anything. Fuck, dude. And she probably thinks that we're being so weird and creepy and scary and confusing. And, oh, dude, this is like an endless suffering. I feel you, man. That is your future. And again, he's not wrong. He's right. Everything he fucking says will happen. But you saying this in this way to Amelia and the face she's making. Oh. I can just actually feel the desperation, bro. I can truly feel like. Like you're at the wit's end and you know this will for sure fucking happen, but no one's listening to you and you'll keep acting reckless and unreasonable until the corpses pile up as high as your thoughtless decisions. But. While that may be true, there's a lot of the things what he's saying that applies to himself too, you know what I mean? You're all talk, you can't save you anyone or be saved. This is again, the projections of his insecurities and his hopelessness, his powerlessness coming out because he's so angry at himself. He's literally telling his self this, is he not? Like on the cart too, remember on the cart to Otto? Remember all the projections he had there? It's the same shit. He's not talking to Amelia. He is talking to himself. This is too deep for me. That's our future, man. He's crying. If only you knew. If only you knew the other runs. But you'll never know. You can never know. And he has to fucking keep all the sacrifices to himself. No one will ever know. But we know. We as the audience know. And that's the part where it's just like... Ugh. It feels like episode 7 all over again. It feels like episode 7 when Subaru is like lashing out. And saying, what am I supposed to do? Why won't any of you remember? What can I do? It's ugh. It's so good. It's, 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 it's just, it's just so good. And if you think about it, it's kind of poetic that Subaru, the guy who is so prideful, the one that always wants to know his actions to be rewarded, to show his value in this world, right? No one will ever remember those heroic acts and the sacrifices that took to get here, except for the successful runs. You know what I mean? There is something so ironic about this power, the character he is, and no one being able to fucking remember the shit he has done. It's just... Wow. <laughs> Who sent you here? Rem. And then she's gonna fucking say who's Rem. Because her room doesn't even exist in this mansion anymore. No one fucking remembers. This is another level. Just kill herself. Just kill. Just. 
Oh, uh, I want to talk to Biko. I want to talk to Biko. I want to talk to Biko. Is Biko here? <laughs> The song's gonna fucking stop and say who's Rem. Just like Rem, man. What? Okay. I think he's had it. He's too mad. He's too sad. Fuck the threat of the witch's graps on my balls. Let's leak it. We've never tried this before. We never actually fully just leaked it in front of Emilia. Let's do it. I can return by death. Time freezes again. You see the way that the hand is like touching Subaru's cheek? Yo, he's like fondling it. I know she, I know Satella loves him, but like, damn, what the fuck? Okay, this is a bit. Uh... <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Just imagine your. <laughs> Yo, she do a fucking tricks on it, just like... <laughs> she really loves Subaru. So we don't die? We don't die. Okay. What do you I don't know. She... she, she, she... <laughs> Why are you like that? Did she just kill her? What do you There's some sound of liquid, blood. Emilia. So that Witch of Envy won't kill Subaru, but she will kill Emilia to make a point. She really is envious, huh? She really is envious. I don't know what the envy stems from. Whether or not this be, I know you like Amelia, but I want your love and you never look at me. I'm gonna kill Amelia deal. I'm not sure, but if we fuck around with that power, this can happen. And this isn't just Amelia. I bet she would kill other people too. I bet she would kill Rem, Aram, like anybody. But like, how the fuck does this power even work? I thought she's sealed away. Like straight up, the dragon, the sage, the hero, they sealed away the witch before. But even in the sailed state, you have this much fucking power that you can just kill? <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? 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 There it is. Yo, she fondled our balls and killed her. Girl. This is a really ruined run. We gotta fucking... We gotta do this, bro. We gotta get out of here. Where's Biko at? I'm gonna assume it's been hours. He's just been holding her corpse. We are pretty pitiful, though. Don't you think, Biko? Puck will come out. Is Puck now gonna freeze the world like he's done every time Emily has died? Bobby won't die. Original form. The big cat that we saw in the 15? Please end us, Biko. Swiftly, painlessly. Aww. Biko. As sundry as she is, even in memory snow, you know? Subaru and Biko, they got a thing, man. Biko, she's affectionate. She likes Subaru, even though, you know, obviously they banter a lot. And remember memory snow, man. Subaru really did a lot for Biko in that episode, and she felt like she could... I don't know, there, there's some deep sadness there that was hinted by Roswell and Biko's conversation at the end of Memory Snow, but you can tell how much she actually does care about Subaru. What should we do, Biko? Yeah, just jump off the cliff. Biko, transport Peter to the cliff. Biko, transport Peter to the cliff. 
Protected mansion against what? What's happening right now? What the fuck is going on right now? Dimensional... Biko did something, and another dimension fucking opening. Protected mansion, I guess, against the cult members later, we're gonna show up. Biko is... I, I knew Biko is strong, right? But like, this is like space-time distortion shit. I know she has the hidden library and shit, which is space-time distortion, but damn, like... She. <laughs> See? Biko doesn't want to lose him. But if it is, I don't want to do it. I don't want to see you die. Now, that entire conversation was so interesting. Probably this final part, right? I suppose at the very least I'll protect the mansion. We know that. Against the probably cult members. And then she says, I don't care if it was a Kimmy future. She says, I'm not like Roswell, right? <laughs> Betty is not like Roswell. I feel like this is very important, but I don't understand why it's not like Roswell. Because Roswell would care if it would secure him a future. Because this is still according to Roswell's plan. That even in this ruined run, Roswell's future is secured. Because like, every one of Roswell's action is contradicting his goals to place Emily in the throne so that he can kill the dragon. Subaru being accepted into the royal palace, Subaru fucking up, Roswell smiling, Roswell being absent when the cult members are attacking. Everything just seems so off. But Biko is telling me, like, she different. She cares about people, and even if it doesn't secure her future, she'll still stand by her ideals and her friends and whatever she believes in. Roswell right now don't care. Sacrifice it all. It is his future. I don't get it. I... Roswell is still one of the most mysterious characters of this show, and I'm sure they're saving him till the end game. <laughs> Bye, Biko. See you next time. There's something fucked up about Amelia's corpse just being dropped from this portal onto the ground and rolling over. <laughs> something funny and fucked up comical thing about this. I don't know, it's it's weird, <laughs> fucked up funny. Yo, we gonna see Battle Goose this time? Anata. Taida desne. Battle Goose, where you at? Battle Goose, tio up. Betrugis, where you at? <laughs> cult members, cult members, will they bow? What will happen? Okay, okay. Let's. Oh, I, 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 I just made a connection in my head. What are we seeing right now? Subaru with the corpse of Amelia, right? Cult members show up. Cult members knows he thick and dank with the witch's scent. What is the day of the ordeal? I'm assuming it is a ceremony, some sort of uh, uh, a ceremony to awaken the witch. And the theory has been Amelia is like a sacrifice, a key or a vessel, a catalyst, something for the day of the ordeal. So does this not make it seem to the cult that he has just delivered them to paradise? That for the day of the ordeal, like shouldn't they all fucking bow down and be like, my lord, my siege, like... Isn't that what it should look like to them right now? Where's Where's Better at? They used the word devil in the imperial courtroom as well, and they said, "Hey, chill, devil. It's a half elf, but the witch is the devil part, right?" Half elf, half devil. Interesting wording. See? Diligent, right? We're diligent because we brought the offering, the sacrifice, the key, everything to awaken Satala, right? So Betrigus is like, oh my god. Yo, you should ask us if we're pride again, bro. And I'll say yes. You took the half devil's life in the Orioles. Okay, okay. So like, we look really good to the cult. Let's be friends. <laughs> Very diligent. So Interesting dialogue here. Still unable to overcome even one ordeal. 
one ordeal. Day of the ordeal. There's multiple days of the ordeal? Much less to confront one of the sins. Is he calling Amelia slothful because Amelia was unable to overcome the day of the ordeal? And did not confront one of the sins, which I'm assuming is sloth right now, but maybe he's relating that to Subaru being pride. And after all that waiting, oh, what does this mean? I thought this shit unseen! I thought this shit unseen! Okay, we can see the hands now! Okay, okay! Ah, you are tr And she trips over the first pebble in her path and it's over. Betelgeuse is calling Emilia's, like, inability to overcome this, you know, this current situation, slothful, is my interpretation. Literally like, oh, you. Like, literally, it's the first ordeal and you couldn't even get past this, and now you're dead? You're slothful. That's what Betelgeuse is saying, I think. Yes, sir. Ending. Okay, the hands. <gasps> what those hands do, man? Those are the hands that twisted Amelia. Oh, you can see this time. What's the difference between last time and this time? Well, we died. And I guess the witch's stench got stronger, so I guess, like, at a certain miasma level, you can see? Did the whale do something with the fog? Did Sato, like, caressing our balls give us a buff? I don't know. But we dodged it! It's a scene hand now! <laughs> Stop biting your fingers. Why do you keep doing that? He always bites his fingers. That's the first thing he did when we saw us do. And interesting that he bites his fingers, but like his foot soldiers are probably also called fingers, right? That's what they call them. Uh, go group up with the other fingers, right? <laughs> You, with the authority of Sloth, you, with the love of the witch who was granted the position of Archbishop of Sin Sloth, you allowed someone else to see your unseen hand. Could I not, could I not say that you are truly slothful? I'm, 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 I'm just saying, like, this motherfucker always uses his logic bullshit on us. Straight up. If someone dies, it's like, oh, you're dead. And that's why you're slothful. I'm like... Alright, motherfucker, I'm gonna use that mental gymnastics back on you! We're not gonna see Amelia Twister, are we? Oh, we're not gonna see Amelia Twister playing with Rem, are we? Puck, 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 puck is returned to the normal form, right? <laughs> puck! Oh my god, look at those icicles. Yo, look how angry he looks, dude! Generous. Let's go, Puck! And that's today's episode, man. Disgrace in the extreme. There's a lot to fucking talk about. Tomorrow's review videos and analysis is gonna go crazy. So, let's talk about the white whale first. I don't know exactly what the mechanics are. I don't know exactly what causes people to be forgotten. But if you encounter the white whale, and somehow if you die to it in one way or the other, with some sort of magic or some sort of condition, some people forget. I think everyone forgets except Subaru. Otto did mention the existence of the Sword Saint. So, I'm gonna assume that the way that the Sword Saint was killed by the whale is different from how the merchants and Rem was killed. And only Subaru remembers, no one else. Why? Because he has the witch's love? That's the only connection I can make. It's pretty comical to see the kids say, Wow, Subaru, you're almost dead and beaten up, haha, <laughs> stinky! And then we go here, and there's stark realization that everybody has forgotten Rem. It's not even simply forgetting. Past memories are rewritten to the point that the script doesn't even have Rem in it. In the room, it doesn't have Rem in it. I bet the Rem extra made uniforms also disappeared. It's just like the entire reality, just like literally eraser. And like 
in any points where Rem did something, they're like, fill it back in. So like, Ram is now the sole fucking, you know, born daughter of the Oni clan, but she has no horn. Like, can you explain that? I don't... It's like, what the fuck is going on? Roswell, gone as usual. And dude, this Subaru Amelia scene... This Subaru Amelia scene, man, is just... A lot of the, uh, there was two points, uh, maybe more than two points, but two points that I was aware of when Subaru was lashing out at Otto and Emilia, and everything was him lashing out at himself, his weak, pathetic, loser self, unable to do anything, making stupid decisions, realizing that he is so hopeless, helpless, and it just comes to a boiling point, and he says this shit to Amelia, but at the end of the day, he was really saying it to himself. But like, he was crying the entire time, and nobody will remember all the heroic efforts or the deeds in these failed runs, nor any of the pain and suffering. And it is just such beautiful characterization of this main character. I much prefer a character that struggles to get over this shit, rather than like a super handsome Ikemen that is just OP and just beats everything so easily. I think that those tropes can work in shows that's where it's more like comedy, right? Like Cautious Hero, it's funny when, you know, Ryuga does all that shit. That's the whole point of the comedy. But in this show, when we're taking it so seriously, psychoanalyzing each character, having Subaru like this just truly shows how desperate, how upset, frantic, you can feel everything. And then he decides to say, fuck it. Let's just use Return by Death. Not Return by Death, let's leak it. Satala's hands show up. It like gropes our balls and then kills Amelia. And the envy was the witch of envy, was she envious here of Subaru's love to Amelia? I thought the witch gave Subaru the regression powers to protect Amelia. But I guess because she also knows regression is possible, and the witch is like, you know what? Fuck you, this is a lesson for you. She decided to kill the person that Subaru loves the most. Kind of like say, don't fuck around. Like, I'm on you. And next time, Amelia can be rid- But even if she's dead... And that's the- Wait, wait, wait. Now my theory is contradicting itself. There's a logical inconsistency because Super- Because Amelia's dead, but the cult members are happy. Right? Amelia's dead, but cult members are happy. Because she can still be an offering. Meaning, there was never a need for Amelia to be... Alive. Or... The Witch of Envy to give the power of regression. Now there's a logical inconsistency. Now you could argue that like, when she died in the cellar. No, but fucking Elsa was there. Elsa would have delivered the corpse to the cult. Logical consistent inconsistency now. Now I'm realizing like, my theory doesn't make any more sense. And we can talk about that in the future as well. I'll have to sleep over it and think about it. Biko says some very interesting things regarding Roswell. And the difference between him and her. About how even if this shit happens, you know, um... Biko doesn't give a fuck about this future, right? But Roswell's future is secured, and it's like, what the fuck? And then, bro, Betrig is showing up. Like, I was on point here, right? I was on point of how it seems that a being with such thick witch's miasma is able to, uh, uh brought, you know, the half-devil, specifically half-devil here. And they were so happy, right? So diligent, you know, they have the ordeal. One of the interesting things here is the wording of multiple it's like the first ordeal and then as well as the unseen hand being shown to Subaru which I'm assuming is because his witch's miasma is stronger therefore he can see it now compared to before and he just fucking loses it because obviously we can fucking see it and it's just making him mad that maybe we are more loved by Satala. I would have straight up fucking says Anata Taira Desne based on like, oh, you're supposed to be, you know, so faithful to the witch yet, you know, you let this happen. This is on you, motherfucker. And then Puck shows up. Puck shows up. Puck is ready to fucking just save us. But that look in his face, maybe he'll kill us too. I think that we need to die. I'd, I'd be fine with dying by Puck. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.